Welcome back. So we've seen how to set up design development drawings for a new build project on a clean site, but what about a refurbishment or extension project? Well, let's look again at this project that we looked at earlier in the module, and I'll walk you through how I approach this. So with a project like this, I start by modeling the existing building from my field notes or survey drawings that I have. And I save this as a separate existing building model in case I need to refer back to it at any point. I then save a copy of this model before separating out the geometry that needs to be demolished. This is contained within a separate group and this goes on a separate tag. In this case, CONC demolition. You'll notice if I toggle this tag on and off, the areas at the rear of the property which are gonna be removed to make way for the renovation works. Because I'm using SketchUp 2020, I'm also able to assign this tag with a dashed line, like so. Just as we did previously with our site model. If you are an earlier version, don't worry. I'll show you an easy way around this later on. Okay, the areas of the building that are gonna be retained, so the existing building is itself a group, and that is on the tag, CONC existing. I can toggle it on and off like this. Finally, if I hide the demolition, any new works are itself a group and they are on a separate tag for new, CONC new. Obviously it takes a little bit of time and discipline just to separate the geometry out like this and group everything together. But once you've got it all set up, it's relatively easy for me to generate the drawings that I need because I have complete control of the visibility of my model. Let's create some scenes for a demolition drawing for this project. So first of all, we need to set up a plan view. So again, as before, using the section tool, we can tap the up arrow to lock the horizontal axes and cut a section through our model. Let's call it ground floor plan and give it the symbol GF1. I then use the move tool simply to position this section cut that gives the best view of my design for the drawings. With this section cut still active, if we right click on it and go to align view, we've now got the beginnings of our plan view. We need to hide section planes. We need to make sure that our camera is set to parallel projection. And I also want to turn shadows off. Finally, in the styles dialog, let's apply a vector style to this drawing. We're now ready to create a new scene and let's call that scene existing building. So for this view, I want to hide the new works as well as the demolished areas. Because we took the time to organize the model earlier, it's simply a case of hiding the demolition tag and the new works tag. Let's right click to update this scene. Now to align this view more correctly with the page, I simply have to set a new axis. So using the axis tool, let's choose this corner down here for the origin and align that with my plan. Okay. If we make sure the axis is vi are visible in this drawing, and then if we zoom out, and then right click on the axis, align view. Now we're square on. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and then right click to update the scene. Don't worry about styles just yet. Okay, just one more quick step and then we can head over to layout to finish the drawings. Let's create another new scene based on this one. And let's rename that scene demolition. So for this scene, I want to turn the demolition tag back on, but I want to hide the existing parts of the building so that I isolate just the elements of the building that are gonna be demolished. So you'll also notice that the dashed lines become solid lines when the section cuts through them. And this isn't really telling me very much about the demolition that needs to happen. So what I'm gonna do is turn section cuts off for this scene, just by toggling it over here or simply going to view section cuts. Now I can see with a dash line, the areas of the building that I want to demolish. Let's right click and update that scene. 
Now, for my demolition drawing, I want the demolished works to be highlighted in red. And to do that, we need to create a new style. So in the styles dialog for our vector style, let's click here, create new style. And let's call that demolition red. If we edit this style under edge settings, you'll see at the bottom here, there is a section that says color. For this scene, we want to apply the color to all visible edges. Note that you can assign a color by material or also by axes, but we don't need any of that just at the moment. So let's choose this color picker here and let's pick a nice bright red and let's update the style to save those changes. Again, don't forget to right click and save a copy of your style for use later on. I also don't wanna see this boundary line in the scene. So let's just turn this site context layer off as well. Okay, so that's it. We've got our demolition plan just as a red dash line and our existing building, which is a regular section fill plan. Let's save the file and head over to layout. So here we are back in layout. And I've just got one of our generic sheet sets open so that we can create our demolition drawing. The first thing we need to do is just to bring in our model. So if we go to file, insert, and select our refer project, and obviously we get the last saved view of the model. Let's set that viewport to existing building. Okay, and let's set the scale to one to 100. I want to render that as a vector, Okay, now in my layers dialog, I need to create a new layer and let's call that existing. I want to right click on this viewport, move to layer existing. You're probably starting to get the idea of how this works now. So it's simply a case of command C or control C to make a copy of this and then command V or control V to paste it in place. And this new viewport, I'm gonna create a new layer called Demolition, okay, and I'm going to place this viewport on that layer. And then lastly, I want to change the SketchUp scene to Demolition. Okay, so for me, this is coming in a little bit faint. So what I can do is with this viewport selected, in here I can adjust the weight of the line. Let's make it 0.8. And I can also adjust the scale of the dashes. I'm quite happy with how that looks. If you're working in an earlier version of SketchUp, you would isolate the demolition information in the same way. But once you brought it into layout, you'd simply right click on that viewport and go to explode. Once you do that, that viewport becomes line work and you can use the shape style dialog to adjust the color, the weight and the scale in the same way. Doing this obviously removes that dynamic link between the viewport and the SketchUp model, which admittedly is not ideal, but as the existing conditions and the demolition scope is very unlikely to change, it's rarely an issue. Okay, welcome back to our demolition drawing. You see I was away for a few minutes and I've just added some demolition notes here from my scrapbook, as well as some room tags and labels and some explanatory notes. Okay, the last thing I wanna do is put a hatch over this carport area because I want this slab to also be removed. So with the pen tool, I want to make sure that object snap is turned on. Okay. And then I can just trace the inside of this area to be demolished. Okay. So with that drawn, I want to turn fill on and turn stroke off. I want to give the fill the same red color that we use for our dash line, but obviously that, that's a bit too bright. So let's just dial the opacity down a bit so that we get a kind of a pink color. I think maybe about sort of 30%. Okay, and I also want to apply a pattern to that. Let's go for tonal patterns, lines. Let's go for white lines, four. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. And you'll see that that's being kind of blocked this, these white lines are kind of interfering with a lot of stuff. That's because it's on our demolition layer. Let's just quickly create a new layer for 2D graphics. Okay, now we can put our hatch on that 2D graphics layer. And then we've just moved that 2D graphics layer down here and everything else will be visible. 
Okay, and there's our demolition drawing ready to be issued. So that's almost it for this module. In the final lesson, we'll quickly look at something that you will likely use a lot during this work stage, and that is revision clouds. See you there.